Hey guys, Patrick from HDRGB. Uh, yeah, I just want to make a quick video, hopefully a helpful one, that is going to show uh, how to replace the little O-ring belt on a Panasonic 3DO for a stuck drive belt, stuck tray. So this is something that happens every few consoles and uh, you know it looks broken so when you have the system, and I already disassembled it here, you hit, you know, the reset button and it doesn't want to spit the disc out but the console powers on and you get video so the first thing you do is just disassemble the console four screws on each side then you have more screws and then you just kind of strip down a layer very straightforward if you think you're gonna forget the screws just take a photo of it before and just kind of separate them lay them out so you know what to put back but I mean most of the screws are pretty obvious when you put them back so yeah they, you know it won't start but once you get into it you can manually take it out put a disc in confirm operation but you still have the problem where you know you don't do this so I was able to get mine open by kind of angling it out of way lubing up some of the gears hitting the button and it would kind of weasel its way out but that needs a fix right that was just a way to find out if it works so uh, once you get it opened up and actually just to show you know the cover for everyone knows what a Panasonic 3DO is I hope the real deal. <laughs> That's not what it means, but yeah, the real 3DO interactive. So yeah, basically you take a few screws. I like to use this little silicone mat here so I don't lose them. Uh, put them aside. I got my heat sinks, uh, coffee. Yeah, because yeah, you got to have that energy. So okay, so once we get down to the meat and potatoes of the operation, we want to take this out. And if you can see, the old belt is right there. Um, I kind of greased up the uh, the gears here, which is nice, and I have a little residue here, so I'll just kind of clean it up. It uh, doesn't really matter, but... So, to be able to pull this out, you have to lower the lens. Oh, and uh, one more thing on the grease, you can lube up those there, just to make sure the, the lens, you know, mm -mm -mm -mm, up and down pretty easy. So, you have to lower the laser, uh, to get to this so to do that you just kind of Turn the gear and you know pretty much it releases it and you can pull it and you can see How it works. Oh Hold on. Oh We got a visitor. Hey, buddy So this thing is completely worn out uh, Fortunately, you know, it doesn't feel like it's stuck. It feels like it should work. It's not seized or anything like that buddy I'm trying to show people how to change a belt on a 3DO here okay so yeah once you get to this you literally you can just grab it grab it here and look at that and if you compare the two you can see this thing has been stretched out um, that's why it's uh, lagging in operation getting stuck that kind of thing so yeah you basically put this right back in here and here like I did uh, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand but as you saw me remove it you apply it the same way and that's it assemble it and hope for the best which <laughs> you know it'll work it'll it'll shoot it out so I hope this video was helpful if you guys like this kind of stuff uh, I post very few tutorials mostly some of the games I like to play I do some uh, RGB footage of some Sega stuff and all sorts of video games so if there's a specific thing you want to see a repair or maybe just some of the more gameplay stuff hit me up uh, comment like if you like this type of stuff let me know and I'll know what kind of content to feed out for you so thanks very much for watching take care